Welcome to the Vintage Touch shop space located here in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. When you visit the Vintage Touch shop space, you will find a wide range of 19th century and early 20th century antiques to choose from. You're invited to take this short video tour with me of my space as I take you around and show you some of the things that are currently uh, in the shop for sale. Beginning at the front here, in the front section of my space, I have a couple of early uh, side tables. One has a really nice red wash finish. On this table, there's a nice um, splint gathering basket. Underneath is a nice rye basket from the 19th century. Some lighting pieces, candle mold, and oiler, as well as some old ice skates. On the end is a stack of footstools in different sizes. The front showcase has a variety of early uh, toys and there's a fish decoy. A horse and cow on uh, a platform with wheels that's really nice for your primitive settings. Small advertising pieces. And below are some stoneware crocs. Moving to the center table section of my space, underneath the table are baskets, bowls, pantry boxes and so forth. The table is set up as a more feminine display right now in, in um, anticipation of Valentine's Day. I do have a salmon colored sugar uh, chest there that's sugar bin from the 19th century that has a mirror on the front. I have transfer wear on display and a nice um, anniversary tin etched heart shaped frame with a Victorian couple. In this section I have some ironstone pieces, wood um, bowl and uh, butter paddles. Some other primitive pieces, a scale, a nice variety of gadgets, all different kinds. This section usually has boxes, containers, and things of that nature, and some advertising pieces. There's a nice um, cracker box down there with a lid. The kitchen cabinet has um, 19th century tinware, some other kitchenware pieces, spice tins and advertising pieces, nice flow blue bowl. Above are some pitchers and a gravy boat. The corner cabinet houses bowls, and there's a variety of mixing bowls right now. Yellowware, and, and there's a blue one down there at the bottom. More gadgets on the door. The back wall will have a variety of things, including pictures and kitchenware items a nice um, wire dish rack. I have a section down below that I use for linens and you will see a 
a variety of linens, including, if I can get this open, damask, some crochet pieces, and there's a nice patchwork quilt. Moving on to this section, there's some document boxes right there, and a tea, tea canisters. And then this little corner section is devoted to um, nursery type items and 19th century children's clothes, infants wear. This showcase has small mini kind of collectibles and baby items. The large showcase right now has, right there's a nice baby bonnet from the 19th century, a little stoneware spice jar below. Other primitive pieces, um, butter mold. There is a color box with a collar and some color buttons. They have a little uh, snap open reservoir in the lid to hold the buttons. There's some early shaving collectibles. Shaving mugs, razor strop, a um, shaving mirror there. Another little tinware 19th century chest, dome chest. I have a few early jewelry pieces. A beautiful mother of pearl binoculars, or opera glasses rather. I have 10 types, and there's some writing collectibles, and some pharmaceutical bottles and advertising pieces, apothecary jars on the top, parade of bonnets and hats, here's a very nice straw boater hat. And on the end is an early matador hat. Hanging on the end is a late 1800s long dress shirt for a man. This one is the type where they use the detachable collars and it has no buttons. These are studs. And on the little dress form is a nice little child's wool coat with a muff. There's an early composition doll sitting in the high chair. Rounding the corner is my book nook, and you'll find early um, children's school books and Victorian storybooks and a variety of things. Here's some purses, tapestry, and corded type. Victorian ladies section is where we are now. And you'll be seeing my reflection here in the mirror. I have a nice vanity with some pretty vanity items, including some pictures and vanity jars, handkerchiefs and so forth. In this corner, more vanity items and above that are a couple shelves of collectibles that you might find in bathrooms with medicine bottles and shaving mugs and jars and cream jars and advertising pieces and things like that. And then there's more Victorian clothes. Here's some petticoats and a camisole. Here's a very nice mid-1900s um, 
top, ladies' top, in a blue striped silk. It's got ribs around the midsection and shaped sleeves. There's a nice kimono type of blouse. There's some storage boxes and so forth, and a nice decorated candle box, and here's some sewing collectibles, and I have hanging here is a, oops, <laughs> I have hanging here some uh, lace trims that have been removed from garments and things that arts and crafts people really enjoy getting some of these old lace pieces, as you can see. And I have those priced individually. Excuse me while I pick up one I just dropped. Here's some pantaloons hanging. And then finishing the tour on the front corner is um, set up with a um, wash day cleaning type of display with a variety of advertising pieces, old brushes, there's a lantern. Here's your wash day items, wash boards, an old wood tub, and so forth. And so that concludes our tour, and I thank you so much for taking the time to view my shop space. Please check the description of this video for links to my webpage and my online store. And have, have a great time collecting.